Hey, for this review, I'm going into an entirely new area uh, for the magazine, but it really falls under entertainment because most people at some point or another, uh, we drop into a video game. Everything from the highly addictive solitaire to the console games and the most advanced 3D uh, immersion factor games. Well, like most people, yes, I do like to drop into a video game at times. I do play them, I do get addicted to them depending on which one it is. But for the first uh, video game review for the magazine, I'm going to go, I'm going to tackle what was one that I found easy to get absorbed in, shall we say. Um, it is by Kabam Games. It is an online game. Uh, go to www.kabam.com or click the link, whichever is easier. Um, this one is called Blood Realm. Um, the game itself is basically an online card game. <coughs> and by a card game, I don't mean solitaire. I mean uh, along the lines of Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic, Pokemon, etc., etc. I do have some experience with these types of games from years ago where um, I used to love playing Magic the Gathering and Yu-Gi-Oh, honestly. Um, I did find a challenge in these games as far as building good decks and challenging, you know, defeat, figuring out how to defeat an, uh, your opponent. For video games though, most 99% of the time I'm a single type player type person. I mean, the multiplayer and playing against other people online is great, but with me I just like to go into a game, have a good challenge, beat it, move on to the next one, and hopefully there's some replayability. For Blood Realm, uh, when I started, when I started I actually have probably about five or six different email accounts for this one um, due to the fact that as I started the game each, each a different game with each email account that okay I'd get through it and it's like alright I'm starting to get my ass kicked um, okay there's gotta be a better way to do it or I see where I screwed up and because it's online you don't have the option of just restarting the game so different new email account new game okay you know like other areas, this is where I screwed up. Time to try it a different way. So, basically, uh, finally with I, with one of them, I actually almost managed to basically beat the game itself. Even though with there's two parts to it. Uh, there's the single player where you have quests um, to defeat different gods in three different realms of going back to in the ancient times of this planet, uh, Rome, Gaul, and I still forget the last one. Part of the surprise factor. Anyway, uh, your main challenge in the single player is to send your your champion. You have to choose a champion. You have three to choose from right off, and basically, each one has different abilities, different magic abilities. Uh, the, main, the one that I basically almost completely beat the game with was Brienne. Uh, she, her two realms of magic were fire and light. Um, I, tried, I tried the other two, which Magus was one, and again, off the top of my head, I forgot the third one. I just became so absorbed with playing Brienne. But basically, um, you gain experience points and gold and silver uh, for, for beating different enemies both in the arena and in the single player part of it. As you gain experience points you go up levels and when you go when you hit a certain level you can ascend your champion to the next level which you start off which uh, some of the levels are immortal, avatar, and eventually demigod and eventually god. You start off as an acolyte with the fewest hit points, obviously. Um, now, here's the kicker of it. When you hit the, when you actually, now it takes a while to play this game and to actually hit the highest level, uh, god level. But, um, 
as you go up through the levels, you gain silver and gold where you can buy more packs on online. You, you don't have to. This game does not require you to spend any real money at all. Uh, basically, you play it for fun. Um, you gain the silver and gold throughout by beating different en by beating different enemies and accomplishing different quests. But like I said, my favorite character, my favorite one out of three was Brienne, just because I, I naturally adapted to her realms of magic and there are cards in those realms that she had that were available. Um, but I did hit the god level. Um, now, by the time you hit god level, chances are you're down to about three or four quest tops. Uh, I'm still continuing her game. No, I'm not going to give you my screen name. In fact, I didn't even create one. Um, but with after you hit the, the final level, and this may be a spoiler, but it's just kind of also a little bit of a warning, um, you're down to three or four quests. I mean, right now it's just I'm hitting, okay, I've hit the point where it's like, okay, I have two more to take out, and then after that, the last two are, I'd, if I'd have to guess right now, are just going to repeat over and over at higher levels. So, overall, there is a challenge factor in this game. Uh, there's a high challenge factor in this game at times uh, the, because you have to, the uh, best way to win battles is to upgrade your cards by using, sacrificing other ones in the forge. Now, here's a little, here's a little tip for you. It may work for you, it may not. If it doesn't, eh, just remember, each person has their own individual style of playing. This is mine. Um, I found out the first few, first few accounts I create, uh, times I played it, that Upgrading one star cards really is not worth it. Game tip here, hold off on and save the cards for your two, your, at the lowest your two. I found a couple cards, um, one with healing ability and ballista, which does damage just basically by sitting on a playing field, damage to your opponent's champion. Those are worth the upgrades with, Bri with Brienne. Um, but I would hold off on the majority of your upgrades until you get a rare, which is a three-star card, or higher. Uh, some of the rares actually aren't really worth it, but um, don't mistake, I made the first, which is why I had to restart, for lack of a better term, a couple times, was that I would upgrade the level one cards only to find out later on in the game, guess what, I'm getting my ass seriously handed to me, okay? Um... And I'm getting seriously beaten here. So, game tip, hold off a little bit on the upgrades. Don't go jumping right off. Uh, my suggestion, my style is I don't upgrade cards unless, I'm unless I hit a point where I need to. Um, overall, Blood Realm is an awesome game. I love the game. Uh, I have to give it a very high rating. Until you hit the point where you become the god, which is the highest level you can achieve. But for the overall gameplay until that point, it is interactive, where after you hit level 5, you go into the arena and can play against other, other uh, online players. Again, you gain gold, uh, you know, you get, point, you get skull points, etc. for different pack upgrades. Um... But basically, Kabam does make this game challenging. It's once you once you start upgrading your cards, yeah, the challenge factor kind of dies off a little bit after you hit a certain point. But is it immersive as far as if you're the type where oh well, okay, just gotta hit that next level. You know, I'm this close to that next level. This close. Um, you know, four more battles on some two hours later. Guess what? Guess what? You're still playing it. So yeah, there is an immersion factor involved in the game here. Um, and especially if you're a fan of mythology. Uh, when I was a teenager, I used to love mythology, learning about Greek, myth Roman, different various mythologies and religions around the world. If you are a fan of mythology, you know what? Here's, that's another side of the game you'll love. Um, because it, it uses characters raw. Um, you know, Prometheus is right off you start with. 
uh, with some story from Prometheus. So in, if you're a fan of mythology, hey, or if you like it, here's another aspect for you. But I would highly recommend this game to most people. It is a, for everyone from kids on up. So, and like it is a completely free account that it's online only. So you don't have to worry about anything hitting your hard drive. And I have a lot of fun playing it. Um, right now I'm doing I'm on my final go around with, again with with Brienne and just trying different tactics, see if I can speed through the game a little faster and do a more direct approach. But, as always, thanks for checking out the interview. Make sure you check out Kabam, all the other articles I do, Valley and Beyond. And Kabam has a lot of games, and they're constantly coming out with more. Um, so, make sure you check out all their games. And if you're a gamer, whether casual or avid, hey, have fun. They're great for breaking, great for stress relief. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot for checking out this article. As always, I appreciate it. And above all, be safe in the night and always. Michael Phoenix for Valley and Beyond.